Hello. Hello, Ron. Do you hear me? <laughs> How are you today? Well, fine. <laughs> we just missed each other yesterday. Yes. I was ready to get online, and you ended up there. You finished uh, the show, <laughs> so. Yeah, the show's kind of. Uh, I, I'm. I never plan anything. Yeah. I live in the moment, right? So, like, even today, I don't even have any questions planned out for us. It's just whatever comes to. <laughs> yeah. Cre creative type, you know. <laughs> but it was just in the same second, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was hoping that uh, 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 Sven, I, well, I, I tried, I think I mentioned something about it, and I was hoping Sven would, would take it on because I was starting to, uh, lose steam and uh, it just didn't happen and then all of a sudden I forgot all about it and ended the show yeah <laughs> okay don't worry <laughs> so so uh, how do I pronounce your name how, how do you say it um, the long version or the short one <laughs> normally people call me Uli it's my nickname Uli Uli okay that's right, yeah. <laughs> My full name is Ulrike, which is pretty um, hard to pronounce for English people, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, I, yeah, I was saying, you, uh, I can't even say it now. <laughs> Uli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I was saying it correctly, but I was, I was, uh, you know, guessing, so I didn't know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, since we're on, is yeah. Uh, the show's about uh, model railroading and stuff, and you are a scenery aficionado. Uh, what do you do in your business? What I'm doing in my business, well, um, I'm covering nearly the whole frame, I would say, from the very beginning till the end, mm -hmm. um, namely building sceneries. This is my main topic, building sceneries and um, trees, model trees. Or backdrops, mm. I paint them myself. Oh, good! So that they fit exactly to each um, special layout, very individually. Mm. Yeah, uh, backdrops aren't aren't easy. So uh... Uh, no, but my whole way, hobby always was um, well since I was a child was uh, painting, mm. and uh, this is what I can use now actually. So you're an artist. It's my advantage. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Artists are the best. <laughs> <laughs> freedom. Freedom. Uh, so, so how was it that you got into the hobby then? Like, uh, like, it's not traditional to, to find... Well, no, not really. Not really. When I was a child, my father bought me a simple layout, some tracks and some locos and wagons, and I just played with them. Yeah. And well, when I grew older, they were buried in the in the attic of our house. Yeah. For about well, thirty years, you can say. <laughs> and when my little son uh, became five years old, my father got the my my old um, railway toys out of the attic. Yeah, yeah, he got it out and. Uh, my son played with it, and then this was the moment when I thought um, I never built a real layout before, and so I started. Oh, wow. and I became addicted, <laughs> and I became addicted again. Yes. So, so your 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 son helped you to get into the hobby. Basically. If you think so, yeah, yeah. That's not well. That's you how could I, this as a, you could take this as a reason, yeah. Yeah, I, I got into the hobby like after my kids started showing signs of liking it and uh, I just jumped in with both feet, you know, like uh, I was always an artistic kind of guy and building structures really, really yeah. grabbed me, you know, so uh, it was my children who, who started that off though with the whole Thomas and let's go to the, you know, 
model train club and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but well, we did it on ourselves and. Well, after I moved to my new flat here, I decided to switch to N scale yeah. and to build a bigger layout proportionally, yeah. <laughs> see, proportionally, yeah. Yeah. European yeah. <laughs> measures. <laughs> and yeah, so the. It, uh, so we should tell people you're from Germany. And yes. uh, so, so, what's the availability of N scale in Europe? Um, we've got a pretty wide range of offers. There's no difference so, really? Um, there are several uh, brands offering and scale equipment and stuff, so, so it's not really very tight. So okay. you can have everything you would like. Wonderful. Wonderful. Cool. It's very easy. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you, you, you do backdrops, you build trees. Do you have pictures of this stuff? Um, yes, what I prepared was uh, how I build um, my rocks, but I can have a look for it. Oh yeah, you were recently sharing those, weren't you? Was are these the, Is this the same project that you were recently sharing? Uh, I just made a video. The one I just that finished. I called the bonsai? Yeah, 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 for example, for example. It's the same method, it's the same method. But uh, I'm building a new diorama right now oh. for documentation. Oh, Great. yeah, very cool. Okay. I will. I will see if I have um, some photos of my backdrop, for example. Wonderful. Yes, backdrops. Uh, my first two backdrops that I did worked. Only because it, I found a really simple technique, but it surprised me. Like, like I was so afraid to do backdrops, and uh, it, I won't say it's easy. I, I just say that it's it's very easy to get out of control with it, and less is more. I found. Um, just hold like, on a second. <laughs> I'm looking. At um, yeah. I ha um, I have to open it in another window. You said, huh? Yeah. Okay. You, you press uh, right click and preview, and yeah. then through Hangouts, you can press that green share screen button in front of the window. Well, I've got sort of an overview here, sure. where you can see it pretty well. Okay. Um, no, now I go back. No to, I come back to you now, and I. No rush. Don't worry. I can cut. <laughs> I, I can cut the dead air out uh, in post production. Huh. Okay, I've got it here. For example, do you see it? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. So, the backdrop is sort of a prolongation of the built scenery in the foreground. Yeah, it's really well blended. Using um, the perspective view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can like it. You know, you can you can tell what's painted, but mm -hmm. it's not so noticeable as you'd think. Wow. This is what I'm aiming for. That you can hardly note where the two D effect will begin. Yeah. And the perspective is really good. Um, this is what I'm offering, well, especially for the surroundings of Berlin, where I live. Uh -huh. Because I have to visit people then yeah. to get it really good. Otherwise, it's I can't manage it. Oh, wow. OK. So you're near Berlin. Um, yeah, Telto is a little town at the southern border of Berlin. OK. Exact. So, so how I, have you visited that? Massive uh, miniature land. Have you the the miniature land the the very large automated layout? Uh, you mean Hamburg? Y yeah, is that Hamburg. It's not very far from us. Well, about three hundred and twenty or fifty kilometers. Okay, a couple. Hours. I've never been there. I've never been there. I just knew, know it from the internet, from photos from the internet. I've never been there. Oh, what wow. a shame! Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I've never had time before, actually. So. <laughs> oh wow, uh, that's beautiful. That that I don't think I, I all I did on my backdrops was just clouds. <laughs> That's what that's what people normally do. <laughs> that's what people normally yeah. do because they're sort of helpless. Yeah. But there's so much more possibilities. Yeah. Well, mine also are a standard backdrop for multiple modules, so I don't want to put trees on one that has a the ocean front. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A couple of trees. A bit silly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> How, yeah, so that's an example of the black backdrops. It's beautiful. So uh, trees and you. Uh, I just look it up. I'll just look it up. Yeah. Give me a second again. <laughs> I'm not rushing you. I just like I said at the beginning of the interview. I just, I got had a headache all afternoon. And I'm trying to fight it, but oh. ugh. this is weird. Okay. So, well, I've got one here. Okay, this is. Oh, wow. Like a big oak tree. This is meant to be an oak tree, right? Oh, really? <laughs> It's just meant to be an oak tree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I will have a look if I've got some more because I built several already. <clears throat> now your your clientele are they basically European, uh, German, or German? What? You can say well German, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. mainly, mainly, yeah. And I hope it would develop uh, in an international direction, but uh, at the moment, sure, it's uh, only German. Okay, and uh, how do you do your your marketing or exposure by word of mouth? Pardon me. How do you do your marketing? How do you get exposed to the market? Um. Well, my main channel is Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm in, in several boards also where I do get my customers from. Board. They mainly know me um, of building my layout, where I document how I build my layout. Mm -hmm. Because I started as a hobbyist, so I'm keeping that on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Although I made it to, up to, to be my professional, so but um, I mainly do it just for fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's you know the hot the, the the layout keeps you inspired while giving you the opportunity to experiment and grow, right? That's it. That's it. Yeah. And I want to improve my skills, so I'm trying to um to adopt new methods also, mm -hmm. and uh, try to find new solutions. And the mixture of it, uh, well, it's the result of what I'm building now, for example. Yeah. Or yeah. the way I build now. So, so how big is the layout? My private one. Yeah. Uh, it's just in meters, in meters. <laughs> it's four sure. meters of length, four meters of length. So four, and four, there, four, four, yeah, sixteen um, feet, about sixteen feet, I think. Well, don't know how much it is actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna just, uh, I could ask. Them I just know the metric system, so it's four meters. And it's 150 at each side of width. <laughs> I love this. You, you just type in Google and it'll tell you. So that's uh, 13 feet. I was three feet off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, that's is it, you know I I find that these nice. It's kind of it's small and in in, in uh, quaint. Then not real small, but. You know. Well, it, it it well. In fact, it is very small, but it seems huge or bigger because of the backdrop, for example. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got I've got only room for about eight feet, which would be about two meters, or no, two and a half meters, and uh, that's good enough for me. You know, 
I constantly put detail on it and you know yeah yeah put well it down for a while <laughs> come back with a new idea and you know yeah yeah I've got an overview here from one side to the other so, so so is this the Alps yeah Oh, wow. um, okay. And when I started, when I started, well, I was living in Bavaria for about ten years. Okay. In the middle of the Alps, you can see, and oh. I was so attracted by them, and I wanted to build this. And um, I was looking for a for a yeah well, a layout fitting my inner idea, mm -hmm. which I got from my inner eye, and um, then I. Um, discovered the Albula Circus. I don't know if you ever heard of it. The what? Albula Circus. No. It's um, the root of the RHB. Oh, okay. RHB. <laughs> Rätische Bar in mm -hmm. Switzerland. And it is also, we call it the UNESCO Welterbe. I don't know what it is called. It's a heritage. It's an international heritage. Mm hmm uh, very popular, very famous uh, for its very special method, how they, they build the routes and the tracks and how they solved uh, to get rid of the of the hate they had to to mount. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like the, the helix or the elevator. Yeah, mm. that's the, the very yeah, special thing about this. So, and it was it's such a beauty and mm -hmm. I want to have it on my layout and this was one picture I, I showed you first with the backdrop yeah there you could see the, the the three helixes okay 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 I love the color on it I love the color you've got a nice uh, connection with the color it's real real life. yeah 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 I really like that you know you really notice the layout when uh, when somebody gets the palette uh, Maybe not cor like totally correct, but correct looking. You know, uh, you see a lot of layouts that have a, a weird looking colored green or, you know, uh, a stark, mm. you know, colors are too off. And, and you've got a nice balance of color there. I really like it. Yeah. Um, I try to take um, the colors of nature, which is earthy, earthy colors now. Yeah. How, yeah. how do you how do you say i don't know exactly you earth colors earthy. earth colors <laughs> earth is the, what we warm, say with well warm brown colors or shades mm -hmm. tan based and that's um others uh, do not have the feeling for it and this is what i also have coming from from the from the painting in my very youth yeah. and then i got a feeling for the colors and Many people just take uh, the stuff which is offered by the big suppliers. Yeah, yeah. And, um, sometimes they're really weird colors. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. fitting at all. Yeah. I have so to take the layers get spoiled. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I have to hit it with spray paint just to give it a, you know, a dull tone or, or an earth tone on top yeah. of that, your, the unrealistic color, yeah. Just get rid of those colors. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put those on the bottom, but we'll still paint them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, uh, <laughs> so that's cool. So you, you, you do business. You want to go international with your, you know, uh, scenery. That's good. Uh, I also wanted to talk about that, and I got that out. You have a plan. That's good. <laughs> Just making sure everything goes. Uh, that uh, so so recently on the the Facebook group, you were sharing a series of photos, and I mistakenly called it a bonsai. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I still have it here. Yeah, it is a bonsai. Yeah, it is. So yeah, it is. Um, uh, I copied a ping penjing. Okay. Um, which um, got a prize. It was. Uh, it's got a well, first first place medal. <laughs> so right. I just copied it. I just copied it. <laughs> and um, well, just to see if you could do it. 
No, it was for a customer. It was built for a customer. Oh, cool. And yeah. And well, I tried to, to give it a, a little bit, uh, varying it a, bit, a little bit to the original. Mm -hmm. Make it better. So that it, might, so that it might fit better to the, to the customer's purposes. But, <laughs> and to, that it might have my style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shall Always I get it? I can get it. I've got it uh, in the other room. Oh, really? <laughs> Go for it. Let's do okay. it. OK. Show Hold and tell. On. I'll be back. Okay, it's not that huge. It's 40 centimeters <laughs> of radius from side to side. I gotta ask Google again. I don't hear it at the moment. You don't hear me? So I'm back to you. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. And well, these are five bond size, yeah. You got oh, it right. My goodness. Look. I don't know. Shall I get near? I don't know. Yeah, I can see it. That's a beaut beauty. Yeah. So so in uh making uh your uh shape of the waves, how did you do that? My waves. Um well the underground, the basic, I well I use um filling filler compound. Okay. Drywall, drywall compound. Yeah, yeah. And um, I give it a structure already. Then I paint it with acrylic colors in different shades of blue. So, so the shape of the waves is made out of the plaster. Just, just plain. Plaster. Um, not really. Well, sort of, yeah. Huh. But then I stress it. Then I stress it with cotton, synthetic cotton. Oh wow! So I the first layer I put on is with um, Fala, yeah. natural water. Okay. For example, or I use also window colors as an alternative. Yeah. As a T one because it's the same stuff what you can buy for great money yeah. <laughs> from yeah. the from the main supplies. Brand no name. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and. Um, then I put uh, at these parts. You can see it there. I put uh, cotton in it. Yeah. But um, when it has dried, you won't see it. So I stress it with white acrylic paint. Oh, okay, to highlight it. I, st I stress it, and on all this uh, as a second layer, again a, a bit of fala natural water. Yeah. So it got a got a shiny glimpse or whatever. Which which is basically a gloss clear coat of something. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's yeah. all. And my waterfall, I'm I'm building the same way. It's uh, with cotton. Yeah. Do you see it? Yes. Beauty. Now and I'll fix and I'll fix it with hairspray. <laughs> I'll fix it hairspray alone. What? Yes. Yes. I use I wish I use window colors. Yeah. Crystal clear. For, yeah. for the base, yeah. And I put, uh, or I work in the synthetic cotton, uh huh. And on top to get it fixed, and it's real. Yeah, here you can see it. Also, as as finish, I I use oh, hairspray, strong hairspray. Yeah. Which women normally use for their hair. <laughs> <laughs> I will never put it into my hair again. <laughs> <laughs> After having my this experience, you, you see, it's it's stiff. Yeah. yeah, it's that's so you can clear it easily. Well, it's fixed. That's remarkable. <laughs> I, I've seen. I, there's a couple of gentlemen okay. here. Okay. I just put it aside. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm chaotic, I know, <laughs> but I'm an artist. <laughs> oh, totally understandable. Uh, there's a couple of gentlemen here who are really good at waves and uh, waterfalls, and they've been. Using, I saw this, yeah. Yeah, silicon with uh, yeah. cotton batten. Well, it's uh, what's your the synthetic cotton and. Uh, but they're using silicon, and you're using gallery glass, which is kind of like a thin, clear, drying glue. Right? Yeah. It's like yeah. A, it's, it's white. Thin. It's white. It's like like uh, like a stuff you get uh, from the big suppliers. Yeah, but the really? big suppliers they it's thicker. It's a lot thicker. That gallery it's glass. Thin. You you can thin it out so it really you can almost look see through the glass. It gets clear, yeah. yeah it gets it, clear when it when it, when it's drying. Yeah, it's not. It's not. But it's uh, it's no. There are two. There are two. Um, very, well, there are two types. One is thinner, and the other one is thicker. Yeah, you can get two types. Oh, so well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that stuff here too. It's in. I I've seen it in Walmart and Michaels and stuff like that. It's called gallery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try well, that. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, it's a, it's a good method. It's a good method. I think silicon is um, messy. It might be a bit too thick. It's messy. Yeah, that's it. It's all over your fingers. I I tried it a couple of times. And <laughs> Alex and uh, the other guy do, have done a great job, and I tried to do it, and it just looks like spiders. Um, does it really get? Does it really get clear? Crystal clear? Yeah. It 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 just. Oh, is it white? Oh, Pardon me. It just fortifies. I would, I would like to know if silicon is really getting clear, really clear, or is there's a always. You're right. Afraid of. You're right. It's a little opaque. Ah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's there's a little bit of uh, fogginess to it. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, the the stuff that I use uh, mostly is my weld bond glue, uh, and. Yeah, I saw this in one video. Feels yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it it's it's kind of like Elmer's glue, but it's it it's kind of got like a uh, what is it? A floor wax kind of base. It's not a mm -hmm. normal wood glue. You know, you can't yeah. eat this stuff. It's it, it's <laughs> get it in your mouth. It tastes terrible. <laughs> I would never try it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that we have this uh, product here in Europe. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Okay. <laughs> so we've got Mod Podge as well, which many people are working with Mod Podge. We haven't got it. We haven't got it. You don't have it. Oh my goodness. No, no. <laughs> so, so what are some uh, European products that are available that you use other than gallery glass? Uh, well, we get the woodland stuff. Woodland, for example. Sure. We have Fala. Fala, yes. And natural water and, and the whole. We have from the company Noch. Noch. It's called Noch. Yeah. N O C H. Yeah. They're offering products. Uh, well, I've been, call, I've been calling it Notch all my life. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it's Noch. That's, that's the German. German for you. Notch. Yeah, yeah. That's why I get <laughs> the heads. <laughs> Yeah, well, there are several products, but um, I'm always trying to look for for cheap alternatives. Yeah, which everybody has in its household. Yes, yes, this so. is a big thing, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, my last question for you is kind of like a theme for the show um, that we're trying to create. Do you uh, so, so so you got your son? Your son likes trains and stuff like that. You've got this layout. He probably loves to be around it. Yeah, uh, he plays with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do you get him involved in model making of some kind? Uh yes. As far as, well, as far as he can help me, I try to involve him. And he helped me with my one mountain there where the um, castle is located on it. Okay. The one in the front, the yeah. little one. Yeah. And he's painting it and doing the underground work. Right on, right on. Yeah, I got it. 
I try to get my daughter involved. My son, he's just right into the computer, and you can't get him into the back room to do all that stuff. But my daughter, <laughs> she's right. He in. might be too old for it already. Yeah. He'll get yeah. into it one day. I'm sure of it. But yeah. Now, he's very good um, doing the track work as well. I don't know how it's called. Um, same, same. Track work, yeah. yeah. Ballasting and track work, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, cool! Yeah, I've been uh, <laughs> trying. I've been trying to put together a video with my daughter on track work, uh, having her do all the techniques while I talk about what she's doing to show how easy it is. Mm -hmm. Working with kids as the talent is not so easy. It's not no, so no. <laughs> but it's, well, but when well, well, when they are sort of infected, they will feel dedicated later on as well. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> with that modeler's patience, I'll get her a date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's a well, it's a, it's a very interesting hobby, I think, and uh, with a with a lot of um, different skills needed and and applications in life. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, like you remember in high school how everybody in math class said, you know, all I need is a calculator and I can do this. What do I need this in real life? You know, but yeah. if, if model yeah. railroading was a subject in high school. <laughs> yeah, you, you you have to use math, for example, in building the helixes. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yes. And, well, my, my son, well, he's very good in math in school and he was very surprised uh, that you can use it in real life. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that's the beauty of model railroading, brings that application, you know, into that's it. Yes, yes. So um, I'm going to cut it short because I got a headache. It's killing me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but it was awesome. really nice to talk to you. Uh, awesome. I, I invite you to come on the show on Sundays. I'm going to try and get uh, Sven to take on the second half of the show, maybe. Okay. Or maybe somebody else. You already know? <laughs> well, maybe it's too late for him. Like, I asked him a couple times, and he, he was interested. <laughs> but during the week, I don't do any planning. <laughs> no, no. Which is bad. You know, I should do a lot more legwork during the week. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll start doing that, but it's just that... Uh, you know, starting at 10 in the morning and go till 2 in the afternoon when, when you put your son to sleep, it's around 2, I start, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a four-hour work. <laughs> work day. Yeah, so if it's, uh, if, if I can encourage one of the other guys, or maybe you come on and be the host, I'd be great. I oh, my be, goodness. I have to improve have my English to. first. <laughs> You could have the keys to the city. That would be fun. That would be so much fun. You know, if, you know, if you bring uh, the European form of modeling, that would be great. I, you know, it's it's just you know, this is all about model railroading and model railroading all around the world. You know. Well, in fact, it, it could be a uh, great community. Yeah, you know, and you know, whether it's in Indonesia, Japan, yeah. Uh, California or New York City or Germany you know it's it's so interesting and ha and and you know California and New York has so much of a focus on it I think mm -hmm. going across the pond to Europe is super interesting you know uh, I love yeah I love I love um, watching or, or looking at uh, layouts and sceneries from other countries because all the experiences and traditions of this country are worked in. So it is interesting to me to see what they make out of it. Like a history lesson in pictures. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yes. But, well, with the Europeans, well, it might be the language. Uh, well, many Germans uh, speak English, but... Um, yeah, well, it's, the it big, be... it's about the big cultural exchange. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this is me, this is you, and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree totally. And you know, so Sunday, if if we can get it together, if I can get it together, <laughs> okay, we'll see, yeah, we will see, we'll see. Try to get it together, but oh, it's uh, developing, yeah. I might be well, Sven and I, um, we are Germans, so it 
possibly it might won't be bad if we talk in German either to bring it to the Germans. Oh, know. that would be that would be neat. Because uh, many Germans, well, they we do speak English because we learn in school also, but um, it might be, it more might be shamed or whatever. Or I'm not fluent and. That would be such a good thing. It's, if I could be a part of encouraging that, that would be so cool. It'd be so cool. Well, I could, I could ask Sven. We could discuss it. Yeah, and yeah. I'm sure that would be see what highly, we can it. You know, model railroading is a worldwide affair, and uh, you know, I'm right. sure there's a ton of people who would really appreciate a German-speaking show. <laughs> For example, yes. <laughs> there can't there be many of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for talking to me today. And we'll, it was we'll my pleasure. You. It was my pleasure. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Fist pump. Up <laughs> <laughs> there. Up there. I always miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. bye. <laughs>